We are an organization that does good on, on a couple of dimensions. We look after people's savings. If we do a good job, it makes a big difference in people's lives. And then also, to the extent that we make any profit, our company is owned by a philanthropy. So any extra that we manage to make out of doing good for clients ends up doing good for the world. Allen Gray is an investment services company that builds software, but the way we think of it is Allen Gray is a technology company that happens to do investments. Our founder, uh, there is actually a person called Allen Gray, he founded the business, um, and in the 80s he recognized the power that technology could have uh, of, over what we do for clients. When people came to us in the 80s, they all wanted Allen to look after their money, and none of them had heard of his partners, who are also very smart and good at managing the money, and so the way he solved that problem was that he hired we hired a, a, a lot of smart people to write some clever software programs and they allowed us to blend client funds and then to notionally redivide them amongst portfolio managers so that he could say, oh, I am going to look after your money but these other people are also going to look after a piece each and between us we'll do a great job. So that original innovation actually which allowed um, our business to grow from being a one-man show to being a proper business, that original innovation was enabled by quite visionary use of technology in the 80s. So I met Aaron from my experience and he just started talking about this uh, sort of summer camp for tech people that I just thought was incredible. He mentioned, you know, was targeted to, you know, the Ivy League schools in the States and I thought it was such a great uh, concept and my only sort of uh, reservation of it was why are there no local South Africans and in my mind it was, it was just a great opportunity to do a bit of a partnership. My experience was established at the end of 2013 and the thinking behind it really was to provide some sort of progressive education model. As an individual who had been through multiple educational channels, I felt like I'd never really been prepared uh, for the real world. The design of our experience was around experiential education, so challenging traditional classrooms and designing a model that was ultimately going to inspire students to reach their full potential. In varsity, it's a whole bunch of theory that you don't necessarily understand. And you only just cram just so you pass the test. Whereas with I experience, you actually learn the stuff that are necessary for you to implement or to actually deliver some sort of value. It will change how you see your computer screen. Currently, I'm sure if you have not been like a into programming, you'll just think of a web page as a web page, but there are a lot of exciting things behind there. And uh, what I like about experience is that it just opens you to a world and say, here are the tools, this is what you can do, because they will learn one specific thing, but then it's it applies to any web development that one can think of. The biggest difference with uh, a university graduate and an I experience graduate is the ability to start working immediately. They have a practical skill set which is immediately usable, so they're starting to ship code very quickly. Um, they have a pragmatic outlook which is how people use this, how usable is this, does this fit into to how we develop software here. It's been surprising to see, like, like kind of surprising to see how much value they add and how quickly they do that.